tape is a conversation early last year between two people, one of whom is the Republican Senate candidate, Carrie Lake. Now, Lake has obviously ruffled some feathers among her party's establishment, making false claims that the 2022 Arizona governor's race she lost was rigged against her, and some in the party at the state and national level not thrilled about the prospect of her running for Senate because, you know, they want to win. They preferred a more moderate candidate who would have a broader appeal in purple Arizona. Enter Jeff DeWitt, chair of the Arizona Republican Party. According to Lake, DeWitt made a frantic visit to her home 11 months ago and desperately tried to talk her out of running for the Senate. How did he do that? The leaked tape suggests that DeWitt was carrying a message from people who were looking to buy Lake off. This is back east. They, there are very powerful people that want to keep you out. Of the I know sentence. they do. But they're willing to put their money where their mouth is in a big way. So, this conversation never happened. This is crazy, though. They should want me. I'm a great candidate. The people love me. These people are corrupt. Well, maybe you're right. Later on the tape, DeWitt got more specific by seeming to float the idea of Lake accepting, uh, I don't know, a job or a no-show job in exchange for a cash payout. I'll tell you what I can offer you. The ask I got today from back east was, this is, the cash is from us. Was, is there any companies out there or something that could just put her on the payroll and give her, to keep her out? And I said, well, what are you willing to do? Like, whatever we need to do. I'm not willing to accept that. Then I'm gonna be the biggest pain in these people's ass and go back and tell them that. I'm running and I'm going to be the biggest pain in their ass. Now, remember, it appears that she's recording this, right? So DeWitt then appears to try to get Lake to name her price. Is there a number at which... I can be bought. <laughs> That's what it's about. You can take a pause for a couple of years. No. Let me go right back to what you're doing. Mm -mm. No. 10 million, 20 million, third, no, no, no. A billion, no. I mean, look, it's hard to believe. Uh, listening to it, it's obvious. Carrie Lake knew it was being recorded or recorded herself or whatever. On a right-wing cable channel called Newsmax, Lake even appeared to admit that she leaked it and explained why. I recorded this because I was worried. I thought there could be a threat. You know, I get a lot of threats. As a matter of fact, I get email threats. I get online threats all the time. And I thought there could be a threat involved in this. So I need to record this for my safety. And if I have to, re you know, go to police with it. And I never listened to it until just a couple of days ago. And, and I don't know what nudged me to listen to that recording. And my daughter, who's 20, was sitting with me. And I, I, I pressed play. And she was gasping listening to this call. And she said, Mom, what are you going to do about this? And, and I, I wasn't going to do anything about it. And I thought, oh, my gosh, if I don't do something about this kind of behavior, what will my daughter think about me? It seems a little convenient, right? The idea that she just happened, randomly listened to the tape, and then her daughter just says, come on, Mom, you got to do something. Jeff DeWitt is claiming there is a lot more than meets the eye. In a statement, he claimed the tape was selectively edited says he actually employed Lake in his private business. Quote, contrary to the notion of me being an enemy of Lake's, this conversation was recorded while I was actually employing Lake in my private company. In fact, for over a year and a half, we had many conversations where I was looking out for her financial interests. He added, quote, contrary to accusations of bribery, my discussions were transparent and intended to offer perspective, not coercion. Our relationship was based on friendship and the conversation that is now being scrutinized was an open, unguarded exchange between friends in the living room of her house. And now, DeWitt is claiming that Lake effectively, I guess, blackmailed him into stepping down from his post. Quote, this morning I was determined to fight for my position. However, a few hours ago, I received an ultimatum from Lake's team, resign today or face the release of a new, more damaging recording. I am truly unsure of its contents, but considering our numerous past open conversations as friends, I've decided not to take the risk. I'm resigning, as Lake requested, in the hope that she will honor her commitment to cease her attacks. I mean, this is nuts. Joining us now, J.D. Hayworth, former Republican congressman from Arizona, former news anchor. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. 
I mean, this is hey, beyond man, just dirty. This is beyond just dirty politics, right? <laughs> well, there is, and, and, but the, by the same token, Dan, I, I fear that now Arizona politics will have a section all its own, akin to the Florida man stories. So that kind of worries me a little bit. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.